Abby, that's right. C.J. Nelson was not just a police officer. He was also a loved member of the Edmond community, and that's why his name will be remembered across all of central Oklahoma. As a motorcycle rider, it's, it's one of my biggest fears is getting caught between two cars like that. A husband, a father, an officer. Neighbors near Edmond and OKC saying their hearts are broken for the family of Sergeant C.J. Nelson. Officers from around the metro area lined up for him. I've also lost a brother on a motorcycle. He was riding in Iowa and, and um, he didn't make it home that night. Todd told me this hits him personally. To this day, he still feels the loss of his brother years later. It's really hard when you lose someone that fast. Uh, someone who's ridden for so long, knows what they're doing. We reached out to the man that hired Sergeant Nelson almost 13 years ago. Former Edmond Police Chief Bob Ricks gave us this statement tonight. Officer Nelson was hired by me about 13 years ago. From the beginning, he was one of the finest officers I've ever worked with. He really loved his family and community and his God. He always had a smile on his face. I can't remember anything negative about him. He was bright, a great athlete, and he was thought of highly by everyone that he worked with and highly respected. They knew he would have their back if they ever got into a jam. He really is part of our family of faith. And every Sunday, he would be one of the first faces that we would see. He took the time to greet every family. The pastor of St. Luke's Methodist Church in Edmond says he knew CJ well as an active member in the church. Uh, he was somebody who uh, did have such a deep concern, uh, deep compassion, a deep love for those around him. Touching lives, even when he wasn't wearing his badge. And everybody knew CJ and everybody loved CJ. And because he took such an interest in people's lives, he really made such a big difference. It's hard for the family. I'm sure it's be hard for them. My heart bleeds for them. Um, I'll be praying for them too. And St. Luke's has also set up a donation fund for the family of Sergeant Nelson. We'll have those details available on our website, koco.com. <laughs>